Hi everyone, Renee here, and today I have for you a very much delayed monthly beauty favorites. Let's start off with Hada Labo's Premium Hyaluronic Acid Lotion. And no, it doesn't look like this. I kind of tore off the entire plastic jacket. So a lot of you have been asking me if there's a significant difference between this and the regular Gokujun Hyaluronic Acid Lotion. And I'm here to tell you, yes, there is. So the regular Gokujun Lotion has four different types of hyaluronic acid with four different molecular sizes. So this guy has five different molecular sizes of hyaluronic acid. So it's able to affect even more layers of the skin, draw more hydration to those layers, and give you more skin volume and skin plumpness. In my opinion, this is actually quite a bit heavier than the regular lotion. It might even be a bit too heavy for some of you. And it makes sense because this is actually geared towards anti-aging skins or mature skins. But with the regular lotion, it absorbs into my skin without a trace. With this one, it definitely sits a little bit on the surface as well. So there's a little bit of tackiness, which, you know, I actually don't really mind, but this definitely is a more heavyweight product. I think if you're in a summer humid climate, this might be a little much. These two products are new launches from Misha and if you didn't know, Misha is actually a cruelty-free brand. These are both chemical exfoliation products. I'm, I've just been in awe of all these incredible um, treatments that have been coming out that are just so much fun. So let's talk first about the one I am most excited about, the Super Aqua Smooth Skin Peeling Mousse. That's right, this treatment is a peeling mousse. Skin entertainment is one thing, but when it actually works well, it just brings it to a whole nother level of love. This is a triple acid complex which has AHA, BHA, and PHA in it. PHA is a polyhydroxy acid. They mimic AHAs both functionally and chemically. What makes them more gentle is the fact that they are a larger molecule size. So this doesn't go too deeply into the skin causing irritation, although it's still very effective without all the harsh side effects. In fact, PHAs, which are also a humectant like AHAs, are particularly good at diminishing fine lines and lessening the appearance of wrinkles. I love a good moussey, bubbling, sparkling product. In fact, I find these kind of products so invigorating on the skin. And the theory behind it is that the bubbling is really effective at drawing out the impurities and bringing them to the surface. This also contains zero alcohol, which honestly is quite rare in these kind of products. So after cleansing your face in your nighttime routine, apply this to dry skin. You leave it on for five to 10 minutes. During that time, I've never felt any stinging or burning or irritation from having this on. There's actually just this really invigorating bubbling feeling on your skin. There is a bit of a citrus scent. After rinsing this off, your skin is gonna be baby soft and then just proceed with toner or essence. I love the foam on this. It's a very dense, thick, chewy, sturdy foam that does not move or slide down your face, get into your eyes, get into your mouth. This is awesome. And the other peeling product that I tried from them, which, what can I say? I, I loved it too. It's from their Super Aqua line again, and it's the Smooth Skin Sleep Peeling Cream. Again, a whole new peeling innovation, at least for me. I love sleeping packs. I love the concept of them. I think it's very simple, and I just love the fact that it's something you put on your skin before you go to sleep on top of everything else. And I feel like it gives everything just that extra boost which you really feel in the morning. It's like a, one of my favorite weekly treatments. This is a dual acid complex which uses AHAs and PHAs as part of the Super Aqua line. This is one of those very hydrating sleeping packs. This is creamy, but it's actually not heavy at all. It doesn't um, leave this film on your skin, this invasive, greasy film on your skin at all. This is a great product if you have very sensitive skin, you're very sensitive to over exfoliation, or if you're just starting out with the whole chemical exfoliation thing. Or if you're hardcore, this is a great sort of day off gentle exfoliating treatments when you're not using your harsher um, chemicals. There's gonna be no redness, rawness, or dryness from using this. This will moisturize as well as unglue some of those dead surface skin cells overnight. Like other treatments, this is for use like once or twice a week. Um, I would say even three times a week. This just seems really gentle. So I finally gave in and got myself an Artiste brush and I got the Oval 8. This is a big brush. It covers a lot of surface area and it is amazing. There's a lot of engineering detail that goes into this, which makes all the difference in the world. You can really feel the difference. These are all man-made fibers, three to 10 times the amount of any regular brush. And if you think the large size of this makes it hard to get into like little crevices, actually it doesn't. I mean, each one of these hairs are microscopically tapered. I don't know if that's what's making all the difference, but you can get 
every inch of your face. What's actually really fascinating to me is even the most liquidy and watery makeup does not absorb into the fibers of this. It just stays on the surface of your skin. And this spreads your makeup out to the most even, smooth, streakless, natural-like skin finish. Another new brush I got that I am so in love with is the Sephora Pro Featherweight Powder Brush. This is vegan, 100% synthetic. This is one of the softest, fluffiest brushes ever. This is meant to be for powder, but I use it for bronzer. I think it's just so great for bronzer and giving you that all over face um, glow. But sometimes I use it for no reason at all other than it feels like a chinchilla is lovingly caressing your face or a baby kitten. That didn't sound creepy at all. I have a makeup-ish product that I've really been loving and this is from Lash Food. I'm really impressed by this. So Lash Food is a brand that started out as a lash growth product. It's very similar to products like Revitalash where it was developed by a team of scientists and it's meant to be non-irritating and you could only find them at medi spas or dermatologists offices. But yes, they've obviously expanded into the brow market and I'm really glad they did because this is fantastic. This is multifunctional and I do love my multifunctional products. Well, the ones that do all their functions really, really well. This is a great brow gel. This is the clear one. I do know that they have some tinted brow gels, but I really love this clear one. You can apply this easily over brow makeup, brow pencil. It doesn't harden. This won't flake. This doesn't get crisp. It just keeps everything really well in place. This also has the added long-term benefits of really nourishing your brow hairs and hair follicles. So with use, your brows will eventually appear to grow thicker. This contains nanopeptides that conditions the hairs and support the follicles, but it also has some thickening microfibers to make your brows look naturally thicker. Well, that's it for my late monthly review. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this. I'm wishing you great skin health. And until next time, bye.